Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. This is Toy Nuts. Today we're going to be taking a look at the De Mattel WWE Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels. This is from the Amazon exclusive Fan Takeover series. Uh, recently released here within the last month. Shawn was uh, up for vote. There were three different styles that you could vote on through uh, the WWE website. This was the style that was chosen. This is the 1996 Royal Rumble. And this is a really good series of figures. Uh, they're the step up from the elites that are in the stores. They have a uh, slightly better articulation, butterfly joints in the chest. They have the ab crunch is uh, curved into the chest as opposed to the cutout in the uh, rib cage. Uh, they have the pinless joints in the knees and the shoulders, arms, and the wrist area. And they usually come with a little bit more accessories, more cloth goods, and alternate heads and such as over the Elite Series. As you can see, the Shawn Michaels here has the alternate head sculpt of the screaming head sculpt. Uh, comes with his entrance hat and jacket, his entrance chaps that he always wore, and he has a set of closed fists, and he comes with the C-grip in his hands. They did a really good job on the uh, likeness. Uh, no major paint errors or anything on this one. I have seen some where the chest hair is either off or missing in spots. Uh, I got lucky on this one. The packaging is slightly different from the standard Ultimate line to differentiate that it is from the Fan Takeover and the fact that it is uh, a red box with white highlights, whereas uh, usual standard Ultimate Editions are a white box with the red highlights. It's a really good Shawn Michaels uh, from 96. Goes great with the new gen arena that's uh, just now shipping, so if you were able to take part in the... Uh, crowdfunding from the Mattel Creations website for that. He will work perfectly with the diesel that comes in it. Uh, would be awesome display if you can get all of those together with the entrance. Uh, packaging is very well done. I don't think they could have really added anything more into the package. Uh, the two head sculpts are fine. The entrance jacket and hat the chaps, I mean, he doesn't really need maybe opened hands, the sprayed fingers, but overall, I mean, can't really complain. So let's open up this guy, see what he looks like out of the package. Now on the side, uh, you can see he has fan takeover on the bottom, Shawn Michaels on the top. This has uh, the picture of them, so if you display them in the box and you want to keep them on the side. But the back shows the figure in the signature Shawn Michaels pose and a picture from Survivor Series in 1995. Uh, standard stat info, height, where he's from, finishing move, and just a little highlight, you know, four-time WWE champion. Uh, the other choices were King of the Ring from 95 and the King of the Ring from 96. Other than really color variations, there would not have been anything accessory-wise different, I don't think. Uh, the, the jackets or the vests would have been slightly different, uh, but mostly it's just all coloring of the uh, in patterns on the figure. There really wouldn't have been too much difference between the three votes. Uh, this one though has been desperately needed because I don't think they've really ever done this uh, color of Shawn Michaels. All right, uh, just popping the tape on the top here, off the side, right here. figure 
route without damaging the box. And thankfully no uh, rubber bands or twist ties holding strong in. Figure this pops right out. And it can stand with no issues right out of the package. Comes with this ring vest. The hat. Just quick placement, fits pretty good. And soft goods chaps. Now for the chaps. Velcro on the back. Don't know if I have to remove the feet. Might have to oil them. I do recommend because these feet do not really want to rotate down. Hmm. All right, so not too bad if you can get the feet to angle down. Oh yeah, it's fit on very well. No issues getting it on. A little Velcro closure in the back. I do like they have the uh, toe articulation on the foot to help with posing a little better. Again, uh, you can hear them. Feet will snap. And again, stands with no major issues. For the vest, he has this a couple of uh, snaps. Looks like they should just have no issues being plugged in. Butterfly joints definitely help get the uh, arms moved into position so you can slide the vest on. And now for the big question. Oh, is how well will these little snaps hold the vest close? Well, yeah, it's tight squeeze, tight fit with the vest, even with the butterfly joints, getting it around the uh, shoulders and everything. You can just feel the tightness. It does not want to button. Um, Maybe heating it with a hair dryer or running it under some hot water to loosen up the plastic a little to give it some give. But yeah, it's. The only real downside on this. But there he is, Shawn Michaels. Ultimate Edition, pretty decent. Uh, like I said, do not like the fact that the vest is a uh, really tough. Uh, just doesn't want to stay buttoned. It feels too tight around the uh, chest area. Takes a bit of doing, but I am able to uh, get the vest to snap in. It's tight, but it does snap in. It's holding up pretty well here to Several of the posing that I have quickly played around with. Uh, they did an awesome job on it. They got his tattoo down right. Uh, the earrings actually look really well. Uh, you figured they'd probably be giant hunks of plastic there, but they actually pull it off pretty dang good. Uh, Nice detailing and sculpting on the uh, hat and the vest here. I mean, they did a much better job than than they had to, I feel. It would been really neat to have gotten a microphone with them. Uh, so if you wanted to pose them like this, with the, you could have a mic in his hand. Uh, but otherwise, really good figure. 
Uh, not that bad. I mean, you couldn't really add too much more. Removing to the hands is simple. Just pops right out. And the new one just slides right in. No issues at all. Um, again, maybe a hand with splayed fingers so he could have his hand open. But this works just as good. And it helps get that arrogant Shawn Michaels pose in. Uh, yeah, they, Mattel, when Mattel's on their game, they're on their game. And this is one of those figures. Uh, again, I put this with the uh, new gen arena with that entrance behind him. He'll be really, that'll be really cool. And then have Diesel behind him, get a uh, WWE title, strap it around his waist. Yeah, this is this is my favorite era for Shawn Michaels. Now I just, I'd really like to be able to find that uh, sensa sensational Sherry from when she was her his manager. That would really help uh, figure out some more. I know I'm sexy. I've got the look. I'm glad they're giving this era of uh, WWE a lot of love. And, uh, move some more figures from the new gen era. Down, I'm like, yeah, the hex of that ring. Even more. I'm not sure a really good job. I'm just a If you're able to get one, I recommend you pick it up. Keep going. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, leave a comment below what you feel about the new uh, fan table for Ultimate Sean Michaels. Uh, please give me a like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Links are in the description. And Excelsior!
like they're on cloud nine. Just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. I'm not your boy toy. boy toy. I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. I'm not your boy toy. It's your hard eye girl. Hands off the merchandise. I think I'm cute. I know I'm sexy. I've got the looks that drives the girls wild. I've got the moves that really move them. I said chill. Up and down their spine I'm just a sexy boy I'm not your boy toy I'm just a sexy 